Right, welcome to Sewing and Growing 2022, part one. And you can see this is the state of the veg patches at the moment. So today's job is clearing out all the weeds. I'm going to be moving the chicken fence and we're going to get in the greenhouse. They've had run of this, so they've trashed it, but hopefully put a good bit of chicken poop down in there. Uh, and broken up the soil a little bit as well. So the first thing I did was went through the uh, veg patches using this garden hoe um, to de-weed essentially. So if you can't pull them out by hand and make sure the roots come out, you basically use this garden hoe to jab in and skim back um, to try and lift out and kill the, the weeds themselves. And then um, next phase is to now get the compost not the compost bin. This one's a couple of years old now. Um, and then I'm gonna lay that on top of the uh, veg patches. So this is the compost, which I'm using. It's a mixture of um, grass cuttings, um, any of the chicken bedding um, and chicken poop, and then um, veg um, leaves um, and fruit peels, stuff like that. Um, so what I'm happy with, I can see there's some earthworms, which I want to keep in here. So these will get scooped up when they put on the um, on the bed itself. Um, and they're really good for the uh, health of the soil, keeping it aerated and continue to help it uh, break down as well. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna, basically I've popped the wooden board here. So I'll scrape out as much as I can, and then I can just shovel it up and chuck it in so the board's quite helpful for this process. Okay, so we're going for a bit of experiment this year. This one on the left is the own sort of DIY compost. This stuff I've put here and just raked out is the sort of multi-purpose compost you get from your garden centres. And then up in the far corner is the own compost again. And then down here I've just left it. Um, and it's got some oats from last year. Obviously, we've started coming through again. So yeah, so I'm just going to do it as a bit of experiment and see how they compare. This one here, we're going to leave this over the next sort of couple of weeks uh, to dry out a bit and break down a bit. Apparently, if you're putting this over the top, it encourages the earthworms to come up and, and drag the nutrients down. And then I'm going to need to rotivate this because um, it's not broken down. Um, and I think even in a couple of weeks, it won't break down enough. So yeah, see how we get on. All of the sure if you can see in the greenhouse but yeah we've done all of the um, seeds um, and all watered and just watering them daily now uh, so we'll just let them come along and then I'll plant out and then yeah final point to note inevitably we ended up getting rats um, which have been managed now uh, but they got into these two compost bins to sort of nest um, so jury's out when we've had a look online um, to be fair, most of the comments have been, you can still use it. Any pathogens in there, once you actually put it out on a veg patch, etc., um, are not as harmful. And that you, as long as you're not eating anything raw from the veg bed, then you should be fine. So as long as it's washed and then cooked. Now, personally, I've decided not to use these composts um, because of the rats, because I've got kids. I'm worried about the kids getting in there with their hands or eating stuff. You know, like peas just open up the pods and eating and stuff. So maybe I'm being overly cautious, but I'd appreciate um, your views. So please just uh, comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. Am I being too cautious or uh, should I play it safe in this instance? But yeah, really appreciate you sticking with me. Um, it's good to see the subscribers going up uh, week by week. So thank you for all your support. And um, I look forward to seeing you in... Sewing and Growing Part 2.